Google Wi-Fi is a Wi-Fi router and mesh system. If you have a large house or dead spots, then a mesh system helps you extend your Wi-Fi further than you're able to with a standard router. At least that's the idea. The question is whether it works and whether it's worth the cost. So let's dive in. Now I got my Google Wi-Fi system a few weeks ago because I'm busy building a home studio in my backyard and the Wi-Fi signal out there was super spotty when it made it out there at all. So I needed something that would extend my signal reliably. This certainly does that. So let's talk about how it works. The Google Wi-Fi system comes with three identical cylinders just like this that connect to each other through an app on Android or iOS. The first one is plugged into your modem through ethernet so it will probably stay pretty close to that uh, modem. The other two are set throughout your house with the maximum recommended distance being about two rooms away. Using the three point system it's actually really easy to get rid of those dead spots. I ended up using mine in a chain rather than as a a web which means that the main Google Wi-Fi point is on one side of the house the second one is about 40 feet away in the next room and the third is in the backyard studio about 50 feet away from that second point honestly I was worried that the signal would be too degraded by the time it made it out to the studio but not so uh, I've streamed about 40 hours worth of HD and 4k shows from Netflix and Amazon without even a whiff of buffering or loss of picture quality so is Google Wi-Fi fast yeah, it's plenty fast. The exception would be if you're on a gigabit internet connection, uh, you may lose some speed there. Uh, users report getting about 600 to 650 megabits per second max out of this system, but most users aren't paying for or even coming close to those gigabit speeds. In my house, we usually get about 100 to 150 megabits per second, and we're constantly streaming 4K shows on Netflix, we're gaming, we're surfing the web, often all those things simultaneously, and we've never had a problem. So when I plugged in the Google Wi-Fi, it worked just as well, maybe even a little bit better, at delivering high-speed Wi-Fi. Now this entire system is controlled through an app that works, like I said, on Android or iOS, and it is seriously a beautiful thing. In fact, this may be the selling point for the entire system. There are more powerful and there are more customizable systems out there, uh, although, like I said, Google Wi-Fi is probably plenty powerful for most people, but the app makes everything super easy. It's incredibly easy to set up the system and it's even easier to manage it after that. The app lets you check to see the status of each Wi-Fi point, check your download and your upload speeds, pause the Wi-Fi, give, other, give certain devices priority over other devices. You can set parental controls for specific devices and probably a bunch of other stuff that I'm forgetting. It's pretty sweet. Now the three pack retails for $289, but you can probably find it for a bit cheaper on Amazon or Walmart. You could snag a single unit for a little over a hundred bucks, but I probably wouldn't get one on its own but if you need a fourth or a fifth router point in your web then maybe you snag the one pack to fill that out anyway count on about 250 buck uh, give or take for the three pack now it sounds like a lot and it is but as a matter of fact this is pretty affordable compared to other devices in this space so bottom line on google wi-fi i don't know if i would encourage someone to go out and spend 250 bucks on a whim but if you're in need of a mesh system and you don't need your router to deliver full gigabit speed then i would absolutely point you toward google wi-fi the ease of setup and the app controls make this thing worth every penny I highly recommend it, but I wanna know what you think. So head to the comments below after you like and subscribe, of course, and let me know what you think of Google Wi-Fi or if you have any other questions. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody, and we'll see you on the next review.